Short kick. Williams at the eight. 20. Gospel 45 to the 26 yard line. We come to third down four from the Alabama 32. Davis keeping the ball and running in. To a group of men led by Willie Harper and Jansen. Rogers in motion. Daggy hands to Kinney. Big hole. First down across the 50 yard line. Third down seven. Taggy to the air for the first time. Across the middle. As list is tight end. Down to the 31 yard line. Long cut by Taggy. Taggy throws for Kinney. Holds on to the football. Down to the 21 yard line. Taggy looks like a busted play. And he will be ridden down again by Mitchell. Along with number 36, the sophomore linebacker, Chuck Strickland. And Taggy takes the ball play and is hit from behind by Parkhouse and throws the ball to Kinney. Gets inside the 20 yard line. Great individual effort by Jerry Taggy after Parkhouse hit him from behind. And I believe they're going to call it back, Jim. Fourth down and 20, and they are going for it. Taggy. Looping it for Rogers. Got it away by Lanny Norris. Alabama takes over. Third down and two. Alabama looking for a first down. Haven't had one yet. There's the pitch out. Down the sideline. First down, Johnny Musso. Davis has lost the football and passes on it at the 39 yard line. By pass, has to run with it and Nebraska takes over. Third down, three. Rogers in motion and they're throwing to him and he's got the first down. Down to the 35 yard line. Looking deep down the sidelines and over throws is that in the end zone. It is Woody Cox. Back there with him is Steve Williams. And the flag is down. Interference at the two. Jeff Kinney. Touchdown. Tag it a hole, Sanger to try to have the extra point, 50 yards, eight yards in four plays, and the kick is no good. But in this battle for the national championship, Nebraska, the number one team, is won first blood. Gary Davis in trouble, double after him, and on top of him. And again, in to do the kicking, remember the last time it was a bad snap. This one is perfect. Johnny Rogers. What a run. He will go all the way. Maggie. Looking into the end zone and has his man Murray Don Kroger. And at the end of the first quarter, Nebraska leads Alabama by the score of 14 to nothing. Pitt Singer will kick it off again to Williams 28 and McKinney 26. This is Williams again, and there goes the football. Nebraska recovers. Oh, 
Aggie across the middle and all by himself. First down. Len Garson has come in, number 39 for Nebraska. Taggy looking as his man. Touchdown. Fourth down and about a yard. Taggy carries and this time it is a touchdown. Davis in trouble. And Willie Hopper drags him down for a five-yard loss. Long count. Second man through. Kitty gets out near the 40-yard line. Bill Olds on that last play. In to make a key block on a linebacker. Firing in there. Kenny gets the call again and again. A big hole. Mitchell's on top of him. Number 97. Aggie. Flying long, there's Rogers. Lost the football. Picked up by Wade. Now got a down. By Woody Cox, number 32. Obviously, there was a clipping penalty. Has taken the ball back to the one-yard line. Had it gone one more yard, he picked it up in the end zone. It would have come out to the 20. First man through. Number 44, Steve Vachelia. Vachelia again, football loose, Nebraska. Bob Terrio. Just outstanding. Touchdown of his Gary Dixon. Third down, seven. Davis has the ball, and guess who's got it? Rich Glover again. All right, first down, Nebraska at the 36. This is Olds, the fullback, showing great power. First down, moves into Alabama territory at the 46-yard line. Dave Watkins is coming now as a defensive end for Alabama. Here he comes. All the way down to the 10-yard line. Goes Jeff Kinney. Len Garson has come in, number 39. Kinney. A singer, five of nine field goals. Three of those against Iowa State with Taggy to hold at the 15. It will be a 25-yard effort. Kick is no good. To the side, and Alabama has held. And he may have to put the ball in the air a little more than he's accustomed to. Davis to put the ball in the air. Aims it, has his man. Out of bounds, number 84, David Bailey. This is Johnny Musso breaking it. Davis still at the ball, has time, throws, get it for Sawyer, no good. Back there with him was number 18, Jim Anderson. But uh, he is probably closer to 180, doing a tremendous job at defensive <laughs> Jim Patterson has now come in, flags go down, as Dixon carries the ball out to the 30-yard line. Nebraska has been strong offensively and defensively and leads 28-0. the pass from Davis to Wheeler, the flip back to Musso, and he is run out of bounds at the 48-yard line. There's your little bit of razzle-dazzle. Davis, looking fires, has Wheeler, they throw it again to Musso, this side, and this time he's inside the 40, and no more time, shows on the clock. That's the end of the first half of the 1972 Orange Bowl game with the score, Nebraska 28, Alabama Third down, Taggy. In trouble, fires, and it is incomplete. Intended there for Jeff Kinney. Davis. Flips back. LeBou. Down to the 46-yard line and may have a first down. Manstead in a right defensive end. 
Quarterback draw, Davis. Inside the 30, down to the 26 yard line. With Anderson making the stop. Davis keeps the ball inside the 20 yard line. Not enough for the first down, but close to it. Johnny Musso trying to get the two yards and is very close. Davis looking to throw to Bailey. It is intercepted in the end zone. Intended for Bailey and intercepted. No block. Dan Kroger is the up man in the eye, the fullback. That's Rogers in motion. Tagging. Ah! Looking to throw and unable to hold on to it is Kinney. Used to kick to Bobby McKinney. High pass from center. And another good kick. McKinney chasing it down at the 30. Has it at the 29. Good speed. And bumped out of bounds across the way by Jeff Kinney. Too many backs were in motion last time, causing the five yards. And here's a quarterback counter draw again by Davis. Across the 50, across the 40, first down, and thrown out of bounds inside the 35-yard line by Jim Anderson. Davis still has a football. He's got the first down. Thrown down at the 10-yard line. Davis carries the football. Touchdown! Davis, pitch back, trying to get into the end zone and cannot is Joe LeBou. Dave Mason, the monster man, drove him back, and so action will continue here at the Iron Bowl with the score, Nebraska 28 and Alabama 6. Taggy with the fake, goes, it is cut, out of the 39-yard line, first down, and that's what he cut. Alabama shifting its defense as Taggy goes back, has a lot of time, and is now running out of that time. Now looking for a running room, gets a block, and picks up yardage across the 45 to the 47. Terry Rowell, number 57, pursued him and tripped him up. Second down three, second man through, Kinney close to the first down. Looking, throwing, has his man cross the Anderson. Anderson is down at the 43. Tipped up by Lanny Norris and Steve Higginbotham. Williams is back in for Alabama in the secondary. Taggy on the inside handoff. Kinney, first down down to the 31 yard line. Higginbotham makes the stop. the middle, this is Olds, and Olds is wrestled out of bounds. Again by Higginbotham. Aggie looks, throws, down to the six-yard line. The men blocking on him. Third down from the four, Taggy throws, and it is incomplete. Intended in there for Woody Cox, and with him was Higginbotham. Sanger's kick is good. 21 yard field goal for Rich Sanger. And Nebraska now leaves Alabama by 25 points. Davis looking long for Bailey, and there's Chris almost with the interception. Third and eight. Jackie with time running out of time gets away from Mitchell. Now throws across the middle and has his man, Woody Cox, at the 47-yard line, shy of the first down by a yard or two. Johnny Musso, Musso breaks it across the 20, still on his feet and out across the 30-yard line. First down for Musso. And in the space of a couple of plays, Terry Davis has gone out injured. 
He has 64 yards rushing, including a touchdown. Johnny Musso, the All-American halfback, has gone out injured. Option number 17 in as the quarterback. Option has only thrown eight times all year and won't get this one away either. As he's dragged down from behind by Atkins, the left defensive end. Beautiful kick, driving Rogers back inside the 30, back to the 26. There he goes, up the middle and dragged down from behind. Great speed and dragged down by number 65, Buddy Brown. Rogers in motion and then Brownson has lost the football and Alabama's got it at the 48-yard line. Jumping out of this, Tom Service, the All-American linebacker, number 42 from Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania. And perhaps it's best one in history at Johnny Musso. This is Hobson looking to run, and he's not going to go anywhere. Atkins is there, number 57, Jacobson 75, and the other present, Woody Hopper, 81. That Baltimore Miami game will be on NBC tomorrow. Hobson back, being pursued. Down the sidelines and across the 50 yard line. Does not have the first down. Fourth down and three. Alabama. Hobson keeps the ball. He has got the first down inside the 40 yard line. First down for Alabama with eight minutes left. Hobson still with the ball. Pitches back and Jackson fumbles the ball out of bounds. Final game for the University of Alabama. What a career he has had. 38 career touchdowns. Eight Southeastern Conference records. 14 Alabama records. And only two for the night. And for his career. Hobson back. Pressure coming from behind him. Going to run it. And gets inside the 40-yard line. As on fourth down, Hobson couldn't find anybody open. Dan Brownson in there, he's still got the football. Dan Brownson across the 50-yard line and runs out of bounds. Forced out as he gets down to the 43. Along the sidelines there, the All-American tackle, Outland Trophy winner. Baggy back, pumps once, now looking. A little trouble, waving everybody downfield, and now throws downfield, and it is caught, and it's near a first down. Woody Cox may have the first down. And it was an ineligible receiver downfield. Brownson going up the middle and only for a couple of yards. It'll be fourth down. And now we have Vipito. And it is intercepted by Anderson down the sideline. Anderson gets down, loses the football along the sideline. And Brownson carries it and there's the score. has done one whale of a job tonight. Got off to a tremendous start. The first three touchdowns directly attributable to the kicking game. Second man through on the draw play. And Manstep makes the tackle of Joe LeBou. Bob Devaney. Twice beaten by Paul Bear Bryant by scores of 39 to 28 in the 1966 Iron Bowl and 34 to 7 in the 1967 Sugar Bowl. Matter of fact, he said later on, when they did either one of them, Nebraska nor Alabama had a good record. Bryant called him, said, let's go to the Liberty Bowl. But then he said, fine, and signed up for the Sun Bowl. But he's back, and is getting his first against Bryant. Hobson, still with the football, being pursued. Cross the 40, cross the 50, cross the Nebraska 40. And is dragged down across the way. The tackle's led by Tom McLevin, number 16. Third down and two for Alabama. Hobson. Down to the 12-yard line goes Hobson. And there's Morell again along with Steve Manstead. The red tie. 15 seconds left. Hobson back and in a crowd. And gets out of it. To the 10 and down near the 8-yard line with the clock running 10 seconds to go. 9. They'll count it down to the national championship for the University of Nebraska. The 
The night belongs to Nebraska, and Bob Devaney and a very disappointed Paul Bear Bryant walks across the field to see him. As Bryant said in the coach's luncheon the other day, it would be a long walk should he lose to Devaney. Well, Bryant has had to take that long walk. now watching the hub of the title of the national championship game and any Orange Bowl game. Won by the score of 38 to 6. And of course Bill Ennis has gone into the dressing room. Here's Paul Bear Bryant. Here comes the Nebraska team. The MacArthur Bowl. 